The White Cliffs of Dover, the first or last site of England for those who travel by sea. An unmistakable border, they rise over a stretch of water like no other, the English Channel. Sandwiched between Britain and continental Europe, this is the world's busiest shipping lane. All ships in the Dover Strait, this is Dover Coast Guard. We'll keep this draft showing as seven decimal six meters. 34 kilometers across at its shortest point, this blue motorway comes with its own strict rules of the road. Coast guards on both sides of the water are on duty to enforce them 24-7. There are currently nine cross-channel swim attempts in the southwest lane. Vessels are advised to proceed with caution and keep a sharp look. The nature of the vessel traffic in the Dover Strait, it, it will literally carry anything and everything. We're monitoring the vessel traffic that's transiting the strait. We're doing this job in collaboration with our French colleagues um, as an international waterway. Could I have your last port of call and destination ever? Primarily with the, with the Dover Strait, uh, the, the vessels transiting from the north down to the southwest pass on the English side of the Dover Strait in a designated lane and conversely on the French side the vessels travelling to the northeast uh, travel that side. The main rule of the road that we have um, issues with is crossing. Uh, some vessels seem to think that they can cross at whatever angle they like. It's like a motorway and uh, as you can imagine if you were trying to creep across a motorway it would be very difficult for the oncoming traffic to work out what you're doing. Over a 24-hour period about 500 vessels from all corners of the globe sail along the channel. In addition to the heavy east-west traffic, ferries crisscross the strait linking France to Britain. To avoid collisions, vessels use AIS technology, and this allows captains to know the exact position, course, and speed of every craft at sea. The automated identification system is a useful tool for the likes of Captain David Miller, who is at the helm of Spirit of Britain. 16.8 knots. Over 200 meters long, this passenger ferry can carry up to 20,000 people every day between France and England. As a ship, she is the equivalent of the new A380 Airbus. She's the largest uh, ship that can operate from Dover, Calais. Um, I mean, the way I describe it, it's, it's a bit like driving um, a Porsche in the centre of London. You've got a hugely powerful piece of equipment and you have to manoeuvre it through all the buses, the taxis, but you're ably assisted by some very fine equipment. Fine equipment paired with a good sense of seamanship. As long as everybody observes the rules, then there is room for us all. After a 45-minute turnaround in Calais, the ship is ready to set off once more. On these busy waters, traffic and weather conditions are ever-changing. On the other side of the channel, fog is descending on the cliffs of Dover. <laughs> 